The RepoScript Calendars Library contains several plugins for preparing templates and generating various types of calendars. In this video, we will look at the complete process of preparing such a calendar. Let's open the RepoScript's Month Builder plugin window and prepare a new template. The initial view of the calendar in the new project is far from what we want to end up with. Let's start by setting the block size to 70 by 70 millimeters. Now adjust the size of the zone to accommodate the year by setting it to 15% of the total block height. Go into the text parameters of the year and change the color, alignment of the font and narrow it down a bit. Let's move on to settings of the month names. We'll make similar changes to the zone size, color and font alignment. Additionally, we will remove the background, since it is not included in our design. Let's go back to the general settings, choose a more suitable font, replace the colors present in the template with others and add a white color to the list, which will not be needed for further work. Now let's set up the names of the days of the week. Adjust the size of the zone to 15%. Align and color the font and remove the background. To add two horizontal lines go to the Shapes tab. A new line is added in the middle of the frame, move it up by 50%, disregarding the internal padding. Duplicate the resulting line by adjusting its position by shifting it 50% down. Having prepared the template once, you can reuse it to create calendars for different years and languages. The finished calendars can be in a variety of languages, including German, French, Spanish, and Italian. Now let's start setting up calendar dates. Change the font color to white and add a gray circle in the background in the Shapes tab. To get an even circle, you need to fix its diameter equal to 95% of the cell height. For weekends, we use the option to reload the design of elements. In the background, add exactly the same circle as in the rest of the days, but in red. Specify that the overloaded parameters should be used on Sundays and Saturdays. It remains only to fill in the dates of the adjacent months. To do this, let's create one more appearance overload rule, this time for the missing values. For these days, the background circle will be light gray. The display mode for the dates of neighboring months is configured in the month tab. In order for the changes in the formatting of the dates of neighboring months to be applied and for weekends, change the order of overloads in the list. The template is ready, let's try it in action. Launch the project and in a few seconds we will receive a fully rendered calendar for the specified year and in the selected language. To arrange three different months on one sheet. We use another plugin ReproScript's free layout calendars. Let's prepare a small template with three placeholders for our months and create a new project. 
For the big square, we'll use the month of the year from the calendar block we just created as the content. The list of available block designs can be selected from the list in the object settings. For the small square on top, we will specify all the same parameters, but additionally set the shift of the current value by minus 1. Thus, the previous month of the calendar will be placed in the position occupied by it. For the bottom square, the shift is one month ahead. Let's set up an iteration of months in the project and launch the project. When the plugin finishes its work we will receive a complete calendar with three months, the goal of our work. In the template, you can easily replace the colors with others and change the generation parameters. As a result, we can easily and quickly get the calendar in German. Or in French. Details and other plugins are available at reproscripts.com.